Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is such an exciting video because I'm going to be showing you the newest shades of the Colorette color tins. This was so unexpected. Um, being in the Colorette click, I had no idea that they were working on um, new shades. They literally told us like two days ago that um, they're sending us new shades for the color tins, which shocked us all. But we were all excited. Today, I'm going to be um, doing a get ready with the newest shades, but also I'm going to be showing showing you comparisons and swatches. So let's just get on to the video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. I already have my base on, so first I'm going to be contouring with Jordan, of course. Um, let us just contour real quick. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Um, Colorette is doing a collaboration with Real Technique. So the PR package also came with a Real Techniques by Samonic Miracle Complexion Sponge for Foundation and BB Cream. I already have this and it was so timing because I just threw out my old um, Real Technique sponge, exactly the same one. And it's so exciting because I love this sponge. It is very good. Oh my gosh, I forgot. It's very good. Oh my gosh, I hope that this color tints don't stain. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited because I already saw the swatches of these shades and they're so pretty. They're like the perfect nudes, the perfect everyday muted shades. So okay first up i'm going to be introducing you to mara i feel like mara is going to be my favorite shade and this is a rosy taupe shade also look at the new color tint packaging it's so pretty the click members are comparing this to emma so look at that it is so pretty ah i'm so excited so i'm gonna put this on my cheek i'm going to like dab it and then put it on my cheeks that's what i do when i film tiktoks or videos when i swatch it i apply it straight to my cheeks agad because sayang naman and wow um don't mind my patchy ass skin right now it's so annoying i'm i have super dry skin right now i don't know what's happening just look how pretty that shade is it's so muted i love it that is mara on the cheek so i'm gonna compare this is mara and emma next to each other in the bottle so it's so clear that mara is on the pinkish mauvey side while emma is on like a um kind of a terracotta brownish warmer shade mara and the other new shades are in a matte formula let's do manila for our eyes wow this is such a pretty shade okay this is manila manila is to be described as a sunset peach and this is what i'm gonna put on my eyes again Again, I'm gonna work fast because I'm gonna use the pigment from the swatches. So I'm just applying it with my fingers and then blend it out with a sponge. That's such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. I am loving it. And I feel like this is the best technique to put on the color tint on your eyes because you can really control the pigment. And so the click members um, said that Manila and Ginger has the closest shade. This is Manila and Ginger side by side in the bottle. Then I'm going to swatch Ginger right beside Manila. Ginger is darker, super darker. Ginger is way darker than Manila. Manila is also like more on a peachy side and ginger is more of an orange to red side okay rosa i'm gonna put rosa on top of mara oh wow so dark this is rosa and this is a muted wine shade put that on top of mara for my blush okay super pigmented super pigmented oh no oh no This is what color it does to me. The pigment just makes me so scared. But it's so pretty. They said that the closest one is Ellie. So this is Rasa and Ellie 
in the bottle side by side though they're very similar because they're both super dark but you can see that the undertones are different of course you can see that ellie is more on the red orange warm tone while rosa is like a cool purple muted shade now let's go to isla which is the fresh formula and i And I'm so excited because it looks like the perfect nude, which is it's described as the perfect nude. Okay, so let's swatch Isla. This looks so pretty, my gosh. Ooh, wow, it is the perfect nude. So this is Isla, also known as the perfect nude. Super pretty. So what I do is I apply on my upper lip and then just because I don't want to apply too much since it's so pigmented. So that's what it looks like. This is Isla on the lip and they say that the similar shade is Maya. Here's Maya and Isla next to each other in the packaging. You can see Maya it has a super warm tone and then Isla has a cool tone. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to swatch them side by side on my arms. Okay, here guys, these are the final shades. So again, Mara is a rosy taupe shade. Isla is the perfect nude. Manila is a sunset peach. And Rosa is a muted wine shade. So I'm going to finish off my makeup. I'm just going to put mascara and then I'm going to swatch them on my lips. So right now on my lips is Isla and let's just do a close-up shot. Next we have Mara. Okay, Mara is my newest favorite shade. Next, let's do Manila. Manila is also such a pretty shade, very nude and for every day. And lastly, we have Rosa. Okay guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what's your new favorite shade. Mine is Mara for sure, hands down. I love how all of the new shades are more on the cool tone. For lips, I kind of gravitate to cool toned lipstick since my skin is already super warm toned. So I think it flatters me more. And yeah, follow all of my social media accounts. Instagram at MichaJaneSum, TikTok at MichaJaneSum, Twitter at MichaJaneSum. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys!